how to modify any fountain pen with a G-nib. I have two pens here. One is a Pilot Kukuno, which is $20. And the other one is a Daiso generic fountain pen. Both of these are modified with a G-nib, which is a, an extremely flexible nib. A lot of people want to do this because the nibs that usually come with these pens, they're not flexible at all. Now these two pens are extremely different. They have different size feeders, uh, different body shapes, but I managed to put a G-nib on both of them and both work extremely well. And if you want to do this, the first thing you have to do is understand how a fountain pen works. So a fountain pen consists of a nib that's usually made of metal. It has a feeder that's usually made of plastic and usually black. And then there's a tube that both the nib and the feeder connected go into. And then lastly, there's an ink cartridge filled with ink. And then the ink cartridge connects to the feeder inside the tube. And then the ink travels through the feeder and finally sends ink to the nib. Now you will have to bend and shape the nib most likely to get it to fit. And there's a couple of rules to keep in mind. The first is there's two points to the G nib and if they're horizontally misaligned, then it won't write. The second rule is if you look at it top down and if the two tips have a gap, uh, even a hairline gap, it'll have difficulty sending ink through. So if you look at the tip on the side, both tips have to be aligned. And if you look at it top down, both tips have to touch. The third rule is the feeder has to touch the nib. Like the end of the feeder has to touch the end of the nib. If the feeder isn't touching the nib and there's a little gap there, then the ink will also have trouble flowing. So just keep in mind, uh, you're going to have to use pliers to, you know, adjust and tweak uh, the nib and bend the nib. Do it very finely. Don't don't be too aggressive. Uh, you can possibly break the nib, but you will have to adjust it and tweak it at different points of the nib to get it to fit the feeder. What's worked faster for me is if you try to get the nib to fit the tube first, the tube that the nib and the feeder will go into. Um, just ignore the nib for now and uh, use the use the pliers to squeeze the nib so that it's more circular and it'll fit into the tube more easily. And then it should hug the feeder better after that. One thing to note is as you're molding it, the ends could clip in a little too much, just at the ends, um, and they won't hug the feeder as well. So you do have to take the ends and mold it back out a little bit so that it's more of a perfect half sphere. Now, when you first purchase a G-nib, the first thing you'll notice is it's really long, especially in the back end, because uh, it wasn't originally made to be used in a fountain pen. It was a, it's a dipping nib. so. It, it's made to be attached to a wooden handle. And you'll see that it's much longer than the nib that comes with the fountain pen. And what that means is you'll probably have to make them almost the same size or about the same size so that the G nib will fit the fountain pen. So what you'll need is some heavy duty scissors and simply just cut off the back end. Lastly, you'll probably want to make sure when the nib is hugging the feeder that the feeder isn't too far back because uh, if it's too far back, you're giving the ink too long of a space to travel to the tip of the nib. So you want to make sure that the front of the feeder is close to the tip of the nib so that the ink has less space to travel. And so the ink delivery will be more consistent. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, I have two different pens here, the generic Daiso fountain pen and then the Pilot Kukuno. They're both different sizes and both of them work great with the G-nib. In case you didn't want, you know, a Jin Tao, which is like the most popular fountain pen to do this kind of mod. Um, I myself, I don't really like the, the shape of the Jin Tao. 
Um, I, I feel like it's too wide. Um, I like ones with defined grip, uh, like a, a Kukuno or like a Safari. Um, I also like really skinny fountain pens, just whatever feels good to draw with. Now this said, the G nib is a, kind of a roundish nib, so it's probably not gonna fit some fountain pens uh, as some fountain pens tend to have like a nib that's more squarish or boxy. Yeah, really take a good look at the pen first. But chances are, if there's a grip that you really like, um, there most likely exists a pen that has that grip that also has a roundish nib that'll fit the G-nib. 